call me Ursula because I'm turning into a fish baby. No, I'm just kidding. Fish amoxicillin, contrary to popular belief, will not turn you into a fish. It's actually made for fish to consume. I'm Grant Harding. I'm a licensed pharmacist in three states, and I'm one of the nation's leading drug pricing experts. Today, I'm checking out fish amoxicillin. This is Fish Mox Forte, and I purchased this online because several of my viewers on my TikTok account, by the way, if you're not following me on TikTok and Facebook, consider doing that. Reach out to me and ask me about it. So, um, and I've actually been asked this quite a few times in my career, so I figured I'd get to the bottom of it. What is this fish amoxicillin? Is it safe for humans to consume? And what would happen if a human consumes it? Before we get into all that, I wanted to at least open this up and see what it looks like inside. I'm very curious about this um, because I wonder if they look similar to the human version. So this is fish mox forte. It's a moxicillin antibacterial fish. Again, this is not an antibacterial fish. I don't know why it says that here. This is an antibiotic used, formulated for treating fish. So there's 30 pieces in here, which is 30 capsules, and they're 500 milligram each. For those of you who don't know, that is a perfectly fine dose for a human. Typically, doses uh, for amoxicillin are 500 milligram. It depends on what you're treating, actually. Here is the label. Um, it, long story short, it basically just teaches you, or instructs rather, how to empty the contents of the capsule in 20 gallons of water if you're little, you're sick little fishy, all baby to um, get better, and you kind of dunk them in there and let them swim around a little bit, I guess. <laughs> that actually would be kind of fun to look at. And it says here, fishamoxicillin.com, AquaAid is what it's distributed by, and it's a pretty nondescript package, really. Compare this to a human version, and there's, you know, tons of dosing information. In fact, there's something called a package insert is what is on uh, prescription medications for humans. And there would be lots of different um, numbers, you know, indicating the dose and all sorts of other information. This is very bare bones, and it kind of sketches me out a little bit, but I'm, uh, I'm not as familiar with the veterinary world. So this expires. It's well within its expiration date. So let's take a look at this. Let's open it up. It originally came with a safety proof seal on it, but I took that off whenever I was making my YouTube video, or my TikTok video rather. So let's take a look at these together. These are a similar size to what the human version is. Uh, let's take a look at the marking. It says a Moxie 500, very demure. So I'm gonna open one of these up and take a look at it. The way this is supposed to work is that you open the capsule and sprinkle it, sprinkle it into 20 gallons of water. So this comes apart very easily, as you can see, and it's just, it's just powder. You know, you wouldn't expect it, uh, you, I mean, it just looks like any other white substance, flour or what have you. Closer look. I'm not gonna taste this, but I can smell it, and I can tell you it smells awful. It smells very chemically, and it's not something that I would really want to enjoy myself, honestly. So the question becomes, and what people want to ask me, is can a human take this? And the answer is, I don't recommend it, but it's not for the reason you're thinking of. I'm not being ultra conservative, it's just there's no financial reason to. This is 30, almost a dollar per capsule. I believe this is $32 uh, for a bottle of 30 capsules. The human version, which has been proven to be safe for humans and effective, uh, and it's more easy uh, to get, um, is way cheaper. Here you can see on my website, crushcost.com, some of the prices. I mean, it's anywhere from $7 um, up to maybe $12, but that is still much, much cheaper than this fish amoxicillin. So you're actually spending more money than what you need to. Now, the obvious um, rebuttal to that is, well, I don't have a prescription for it. Okay, I, I understand. Um, I think a lot of prescribers would probably be 
quite understanding if you presented the situation as, look, I, I'm struggling financially. Can you give me a larger quantity so that I can, you know, be able to, um, you know, treat myself? If you have a good relationship with them, they may consider that. It's perfectly legal to prescribe prescribe quantities of 30, 90, 100, you know, that's perfectly legal. And um, prescribers can even do that for family members, depending on the state. In my state, it's perfectly fine. In any event, they're going to want to see you first, and you have to do that. I don't think anyone who's watching this video is able to determine the very first time that they have an infection that they need amoxicillin. So you do have to see a provider first. There must be a bona fide provider-patient relationship. Now people want to know is if I had no other option, if I couldn't get to a provider, if I didn't have access to the human version, figure some post-apocalyptic nightmare scenario, would I take this? Yeah, I would. But I don't recommend other folks do. The reason being is, although I am quite certain that the amoxicillin in these capsules is perfectly fine, I don't know what else is mixed in with it. What I was able to find is that animal medications actually adhere to the same, if not very, very similar quality control measures that human medications do, regulated by the Federal Trade Commission and FDA. So I'm actually not really worried about the quality of this product. My concern is I don't know if there's other chemicals there used to make it more palatable for fish. I imagine in my mind they have some like fish food flavoring or something like that. But I don't know. I really don't know. And the reason why I don't know is apparently the manufacturers don't have to display that information on their packaging for uh, animal medications. I actually emailed the manufacturer and asked them for a list of inactive ingredients, but I haven't heard back yet. Now, I know people are going to take this, and I know a lot of people are stockpiling it for like a kind of doomsday scenario or something like that. I have no comment. I am just telling you that we cannot be certain that this is safe and effective for humans, and there's a much easier, cheaper option available. As always, stick around. I like to make videos on here. Uh, YouTube, TikTok, and Facebook, and feel free to follow me there. I like to make informative medication videos for you guys. I forgot to mention, this was the website I bought it from, Happy Minutes. Yeah, I don't know. I just kind of Googled it. And they charged me $32.99 for 30 capsules. So I, I'm just going to, for simple, for the sake of math, it's a dollar per capsule. So yeah, you're always going to be better off with the human version, honestly.